going to be a video which was suggested by one of our subscriber and today's video is going to be on how to make fish tiga rasa well this recipe is actually a popular asian cuisine where tiga rasa stands for three flavor which is sweet sour and also spicy okay so so i am super excited to try this so why wait let's get into the video First, I'm going to start out by making the marination for the fish and for that I've taken a small piece of ginger and about 4 to 6 cloves of garlic. I'm going to pound this all together until it's nice and fine. And now to the fish I'm adding in the pounded garlic and ginger. To that I'm adding in quarter teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to rub this mixture all over the fish. And now as you can see, I'm doing the same to the other side of the fish. Well, next up, I'm slitting in some green onions because these green onions will give a really nice aroma to the fish. And now, I'm adding in 1 tablespoon of corn flour. So we have to rub this all over the fish until the fish is fully coated. And I'm adding another tablespoon of corn flour to the other side. So as you can see, our fish is ready to be fried. And now it's time to deep fry the fish. So I've already heated enough oil to deep fry the fish in a wok. Make sure the oil is not too hot because we don't want to burn the fish and we want the fish to cook truly. Okay, so at this point I'm going to flip over the fish. So at this point, you can turn off the flame and keep the fish aside. Up next, we are going to make the tiga rasa sauce. Next, for the tiga rasa sauce, I am adding in 2 tablespoons of plum sauce. One tablespoon of light soy sauce. Two tablespoons of oyster sauce. and 1 tablespoon of ketchup. So I'm going to stir it all together until it's well combined. So now to a non-stick vessel, I've already heated some olive oil and to that, I'm adding in about 7 to 8 cloves of garlic finely chopped. I'm also adding in a small piece of ginger finely chopped so we're going to saute this together until the raw smell is gone. At this point, I'm adding in about 2 tablespoons of green onion whites. Stir it all together. And now, I've dropped in the sauce mixture. I'm going to stir it all together and make sure you are doing this in a medium flame. So at this point, I'm adding in some water because I don't want the sauce to be really thick and you can substitute the water with some chicken stock. And now again, I'm going to season the sauce with about quarter teaspoon of salt. So our sauce is ready to be served and now time to assemble it. So I'm garnishing the fish with some freshly chopped green onions. 
And now I'm going to pour the sauce all over the fish. So here's my version of tiga rasa fish to be served with full of joy and love. So hope you guys like this video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and do a comment down below on what you guys want me to do in my upcoming videos. Thank you.